The woman who accused Spanish Fort's mayor of slapping her at City Hall has filed a federal lawsuit against the city. Former magistrate Lindsay Cooper was fired eight months after pressing charges. The city maintains the firing was unrelated. WKRG News Vice Brianna Hollis joins us now live to explain new court documents claim the firing process started right after Cooper went to the sheriff's office. Brianna. So Roseanne Cooper's attorney calls this a quote first amendment retaliation situation and she claims that Cooper was fired as a direct result of notifying authorities. Mayor Mike McMillan was tried on those harassment charges last year and found not guilty. He was also reelected as mayor. The Spanish Fort slapping saga continues this time in federal court. It all started October of 2019 when the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office issued a warrant for Mayor McMillan on third degree harassment charges, a misdemeanor. Former magistrate Lindsay Cooper claims the mayor slapped her in the face and told her to shut up after a discussion about a city website. In June of 2020, Cooper was fired for insubordination. The city says this was due to Cooper being unwilling to take visitors temperatures at the door during the pandemic. But this 38 page complaint claims Cooper's termination letter was actually started the day she reported the slap to authorities. It states another employee quote wrote her memo to terminate plaintiff Cooper on October 22nd, 2019. Instead of an immediate retaliation termination of Cooper for engaging in her free speech rights and reporting the incident to the sheriff's office, defendants decided to wait until they could create an unrelated reason for terminating Cooper. Cooper's attorney is arguing that the city violated Cooper's First Amendment rights by moving to fire her after she raised the complaint to law enforcement. And we reached out to the Spanish Fort City attorney to get the city side on this. We called and texted him and still haven't heard back. Reporting live in Spanish Fort, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.